So watch list is the next topic that we are discussing in this session. Uh, it's one of the most uh, uh, or liked feature is, is being used for more than five to six years. And uh, with the request of enhancements that we are getting in this uh, is it clearly tells that the interest in this uh, uh, in this uh, feature is uh, uh, increasing and we are continuously enhancing the features. Uh, uh, in order to keep more focused on the overview perspective, uh, what a watch list is, watch list is, uh, uh, is basically uh, a set of uh, stocks created by the users with choice of their uh, favorite uh, parameters. It could be from technicals, it could be from fundamental, uh, it could be latest, it could be previous value. It gives an opportunity for our analysts uh, to take uh, take uh, uh, or to have all the information that they feel is required for their analysis and uh, uh, view it together for all the stocks of their interest. Uh, users have opportunity to uh, choose from one of the 16 categories we have. Uh, there are more than 500 fields available in the system. Uh, then uh, once uh, once you create a watch list of uh, the stocks you are interested in with the fields, then you can uh, you can also navigate between various ticks. So you can with with a click you can go to five minutes. With the with another click you can go to one hour. Uh, you can export the data. Uh, to Excel for further analysis if you wish to. Uh, we have a very nice and user-friendly interface uh, to create watch list and to manage watch list. And then uh, once you have created the watch list, we are good. Then uh, as we have seen in some of the other screeners, uh, there's an option of running the screener on watch list. This is also a pretty much light feature in the system wherein a, your universe is uh, what you define rather than, uh, rather than all stocks or is being defined by somebody else. So helps you to keep focus on the stocks of your interest. Uh, the, uh, another set of topic that we cover is how do you add stocks to watch list? Either stock by stock you can add, you can bulk add, or you can also add all stocks of an index. Let's say you want to add all stocks of uh, Bank Nifty. There, there's a one click or, or uh, uh, there's an option where you don't have to go and add stock by stock. You can add all the stocks together. Also, you can add uh, stocks from uh, screener results, uh, both uh, uh, pre-screened as well as uh, custom screener and also you can add it from equity analysis as we have seen it uh, in the previous slides. Uh, welcome back friends. Uh, in this session, we'll cover watch list. Uh, so once you come to watch list and if you have not created one, then here's the way of creating watch list. Click on watch list, give it a meaningful name. Let's give it a name as a demo watch list because the purpose of this watch list is to provide you a demo. In this one, uh, let's use a default template. Of course, we'll, we'll take you to the custom template in a short while. Let's see what default template is. So once you say create it, uh, once you click on uh, create, a watch list demo one is created and it appears over here. So now uh, this, a watch list is created. Now it's time to add stocks. Now we have an option of adding stocks one by one, uh, let's say we go and add ICICI bank, ICICI bank, and this is how you would typically add a stock to your uh, watch list. Now, uh, also one thing uh, uh, which we did was we created our default watch list. Default watch list contains code, price, previous close, change, change percentage, volume, one year high, one year low, sector, and 50 day SMA. Pretty much common common fields what we uh, what we generally use. Uh, you have an option of changing it. So uh, so let, let's add a few more stocks. Let's add stocks like HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank. Let's add Access Bank. Access Bank. Kotak Mahindra Bank. Mahindra Bank. Okay, so if we've seen that every time we need to add a stock, we have to go search and add. So this becomes a little tedious. So there are other options to add stocks. Uh, one of the option is using bulk. Over here, you can do SBIN. SBIN, let's, let's take example from here itself. Uh, so let's use uh, just for the codes. Code namesake, VPCL, Dr. 
ready sipla so this is how you can uh, if you know the uh, symbol of nsc stocks then you can you can uh, e e either use a comma separated value or you can use space separated in this case we have used space separated add to watch list so all the all the stocks that we added came here in alphabetical order along with the, uh, along with the values uh, we selected now we feel this is good uh, we can go ahead with it or if you feel that it requires update or it requires certain change uh, in in and in this uh, uh, screener then we can or in this watch list then we have an option we would like to have uh, the sector move above Sorry, sector. Uh, what we did is, if we would like to move sector to the top, uh, or rather price to be on top, followed by sector, followed by volume, then I need code here. So I need to move code one above. Sorry, uh, I need to move code one above, code above, and one above. So this is how I have rearranged uh, the fields. Once I save, uh, watch, uh, so watch list is updated. I click on this watch list. I'll see that it is price, sector, volume, code. Uh, also, I have option of uh, adding uh, more uh, fields here. So click on this. In general, you have these many options. Let's say I'm interested in financial basic. In financial basic, I'm interested in market capitalization. So update. So once this is done, you, you will see that the last field of market capitalization is also added in this. So this is how you can incrementally add stocks using uh, add, to st add stocks to watch list, bulk add. Also, you can change the structure, change the order, which we did. And also you can add additional fields here. Now, if you feel that this is a good template for you and you don't want to do this exercise again and again and want to create a new watch list. So you, what you can do is you can clone it. Uh, so clo so this becomes clone of watch list demo. Uh, let's give it a meaningful name uh, like my auto stocks clone template. So if you see my auto stocks, uh, the, the, the template is, is pretty similar to what we created. Now, in this case, let's demonstrate another feature wherein you can bulk add stocks. So I'm going into add all stocks of an index and over here, I'm selecting Nifty Auto, add to watch list. Now, if you see all the stocks of auto industry are added here with the same set of fields that we selected uh, in our template. So this is another way similar to, similar to what we see in the screeners, custom screener is basically the charts are over here. You can navigate to any chart. Uh, you can select the fields of your choice over here, either with the template. The template that we created was uh, today was 15 SMA and MACD. So that template is here. Uh, of course, the quarterly temp period is not the best period. And let's use it a smaller smaller duration, one year chart. And then you can navigate uh, the results or navigate the stocks using uh, this mode as well. Uh, apart from the data, you can look at in the chart also. Uh, another thing that you need to look for is basically the copy. Uh, copy to clipboard. You have an option and similar options are here. Let's say you want to navigate between different ticks to see how it, how they are doing. So you, you, you can navigate how, how these, are, these are moving. This will be more applicable to technical parameters. So let's create a, a, a brand new watch list with technicals. So I, I'll choose custom here. Uh, my tech stocks, add a field to watch list. So uh, I'll start with general. I'll uh, choose price because that, no, I'll, I'll choose, I'll start with code. Uh, then I'll choose price. Then I'll go to technical, technical indicators. Uh, I want to add, uh, I want to add check in money flow. I want to, so if, uh, if you have noticed that once you add here, the last field that we selected or last category we selected was technical. So that is retained. So that helps you to uh, 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 faster uh, creation of, uh, of uh, uh, the watch list. So uh, I want to add ATR. I want to add, I want to add 
let's say uh, MACD histogram. I want to add MACD and MACD signal line. So that creates my a very simple watch list for me uh, for technicals. So MACD signal line, a very simple set. Uh, I think the check in money flow should be a little down, one down after eight years. So I have done this. Or, and I also want ADX to be the last one. So I click on this thing. So this is a brand new custom template, which we created on technicals. So let's say create template. My tech stock watch list is created. Uh, click there. You have an option of adding stocks to watch list. Either you can do it from here or you can do it from screeners. So let's go to screeners to see how we can add stocks. Uh, I'm looking at uh, the fleets that we selected was indicators. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, let's say we didn't select it, this, right? So uh, uh, let's use Bollinger. So price above Bollinger band. Uh, I, I get the stock in blue chip. Let me expand the scope. Uh, okay, still one, uh, expanding it further. So there are three stocks which have come. So let me add stocks to technical, add another stock. Add to my technical, add another stock to my technical, add. So we've added three stocks in the watch list. Let's go back, uh, look, look at my technical stocks. The three stocks are there. Obviously, uh, the fields that we chose is not the one which is reflecting uh, the uh, indicators or the screener that we selected. So let's go back and add Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band, upper band is what we looked for. So let's update the template. Uh, this, this screen being, being prime on or Bollinger. So let's go up and Bollinger Band uh, being the Bollinger Band being the first field. Uh, now let's look at the data, how it looks like. So the price is this. Uh, if the price is above Bollinger Band, which we, which is, uh, this is, was the basis for our uh, screener results uh, or stock addition. Uh, we have added Procter, Procter & Gamble again. And the third one is uh, this on that uh, chart. Now, uh, and now we know how to create a custom template. Uh, there's one more thing that is not matching. Uh, somehow, uh, let's go back to the screener and see what could have gone wrong. Uh, let's go to technicals. Let's go to uh, indicator. Let's go to our Bollinger Band. Uh, this, uh, what, what is the tick here? The tick here is one hour. That's why, uh, that's why the values are not matching. So let's go to watch list back, my technical stocks and look at one hour chart. Now, this is where uh, the values of uh, the prices above the Bollinger Band and uh, the, 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 the issue that we saw that price was not uh, above uh, Bollinger Band was because of the uh, tick that we selected. So it's, it's a very simple and convenient way of, uh, of uh, changing the tick. You can change it to daily. You can change to other period. Uh, it's a lot more applicable on technical analysis or technical data compared to the other, other data. So once we see this, th th this is something which we feel is the right one. Uh, we can go for copy. It goes to, uh, it goes to your uh, clipboard or you have an option of exporting to CSV, Excel, or you can even print, uh, uh, print it for uh, discussion or for the analysis. So uh, the, the, fields, the fields or the features that we have uh, seen is basically creation of a watch list, uh, creation of a custom watch list, how to clone a watch list, how to reorder, how to reorder the fields, uh, take it to top, take it to bottom, add. So it, it gives a lot of flexibility. Uh, and also the choice of the choice of fields are a lot. Let's say we want to add another field uh, since we were on technical last time. So technical is pre-selected. Uh, you can always override. And let's say you want to uh, look at uh, uh, the pivot point above. Uh, uh, so you want to look at resistance too because that's what you trade at or is important for you. So, uh, uh, so resistance two is added. Now, when you click on the watch list, either from here or from here, uh, you see uh, uh, that, okay. Yeah, sorry, we, uh, we added on my auto stock. So you see resistance two uh, appears over here. You can scroll. So basically if the number of fields increases in your watch list, 
there's, there's a horizontal scroll bar which comes in uh, uh, without uh, compromising on without compromising on this uh, this view. This view is always retained on the top left hand side. This view is always retained. Uh, the name of the stock and the chart is always retained. We believe that these three are most important to have it at all point of time. You being technical analyst, charts is important. So is the name of stock and the field that you are uh, looking at. So that's that covers uh, that covers uh, watch list at, in a very high level view. Uh, and also what we have is another simple view, which will cover number of stocks in your watch list is this. Let's say you are not interested in this stock MRF, you are done with analysis and then it, it no longer fits into your uh, no longer fits into your criteria. You can remove it. Uh, if you feel that a demo watch list was just for demo purpose, for learning purpose, you do not need it any further. You can also remove this one. Yes, I want to delete. Delete. Now, uh, now is, are, is the two watch list that you have done. You have done some customization on auto stocks. You have done some customization on technical stocks. And now you are good to go. Uh, now. We have done this analysis. Now let's try a screener to see if any of the stocks uh, is part of your uh, of your watch list fulfills the criteria. Now, if you see uh, price volume, uh, top gainers. So almost all the stocks in today's uh, time frame uh, on one hour chart, they have uh, they have gained a bit at least. Uh, if we look at uh, the intraday daily, there's no recall. Let's look at daily. So there are six stocks from your watch list, which has gained uh, beyond, uh, which has gained today. Now, if you want to add price and volume together, price gain as well as volume. So there are three stocks in your watch list, which has uh, gained as well as uh, gained with higher volume. So volume percentage is also higher and the price gain is there. Uh, now also let's look at custom screener uh, to see uh, whether these stocks comes uh, uh, as a part of your watch list. So I'm looking for here, uh, I'm looking for price gain, which is above 2%. And also I'm looking for volume gain, which is above, uh, above, no, sorry, not today's volume. Um, volume jump is greater by 100% compared to latest day gain above 100% compared to previous day. Uh, these are two criteria we selected. Now, of course, you have better flexibility and I want to run it on my watch list. So once I go into watch list, I see two stocks which fulfills this criteria from watch list, Bharat Forge and Scient. And uh, so th this is how uh, you would uh, filter stocks uh, from your watch list. Uh, you create your own universe. You do your analysis on that. You have all the data available, export it and run the screener on top of your watch list. Uh, also, uh, if you see, uh, if, you, if you are running on another, another basket, let's say blue chip, uh, the same screener, you feel that, that Bank of Baroda should be part of uh, uh, your uh, watch list. Uh, sorry, it should be part of your watch list. So you click here, sorry. Uh, you, you click on uh, add to watch list. Uh, so Bank of Baroda, I mean, of course, it does not make sense, but uh, you can add it to uh, my auto, auto stock, uh, even though it is not part of auto stock. This is just to demonstrate how you can add uh, screener results to watch list. So once you click here, the stock uh, Bank of Baroda is successfully added to uh, my auto watch list. You can either go from here, you can go from here, or uh, you can also go navigate from, uh, from the menu. So if you see Bank of Baroda, Bank of Baroda is part of your watch list now. So that, that gives you a very good overview of watch list is, and hope, uh, hope uh, you will avail this feature. Uh, uh, and once you get used to it, it's, it's a very powerful feature. Friends, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, next video in this series would be on portfolio. Till then, goodbye and have a very good day. Bye-bye.